Well, welcome back to GIS analysis at the University of Alaska Fairbanks. For the remainder of the network analysis video sessions, you need to download the data from the class website, the data folder, and then go to Lab 5 Network Analysis Data. So download networklab.zip and unzip that. And that will be a geodatabase containing three feature data sets that we're going to work with. So I've downloaded the data and unzipped them. And here is our geodatabase. And we're going to start with this feature data set, City Streets. And we have a Streets line feature class and a point feature class called Stops. So one of the fields in our streets is the speed limit. What we want to do is we'll add two new fields. So one will be for every line, what's the length of each line in miles? And then we'll also add a field for if we're driving the speed limit, what is the travel time that it would take to go down each street driving the speed limit? So I add a double precision field for miles, and then we want to know for every line, what's its length in miles. So calculate geometry and then choose the appropriate units. So in this example, it's US miles. And I add a double precision field for hours. So assuming we're driving the speed limit and we have the length of every line in miles, we can calculate using the field calculator how many hours it would take to travel down each street. And using the field calculator, we've got miles divided by miles per hour, and that will give us hours. And then let's label our stops. So if we go to properties and then labels, we'll label them based on stop name. And I'll give it bold 11. So here's our home and here's a pizza shop. And what we want to do is walk from home to the pizza shop and minimize walking distance along this network. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a network data set in our feature data set. So if we go to the catalog window and then right mouse click on our feature data set and then new network data set. This will be disabled. You won't be able to build it unless you have the network analyst extension checked on. So if you have a problem here, you go to extensions and make sure that network analyst is checked on. If it's not, and I right mouse click new, I can't build a network data set. So new network data set, and then we can name it whatever we want to name it. I'll just take the default and then next. And then here's where students make mistake is they often will include stops. This is going to be our network data set, so it's only going to be our lines. We could include points if the points represented barriers in lines. So for example, if you had bridge was out and that was a point, you could have those as barriers. So typically in this class, we only use lines to build our new network data set. And then next, and then next, and then next, next. And here's where we would specify whatever fields we want as cost fields in our network data set. So if we had some field and it's not sort of a typical field, we could add it by using the add button. But here we have hours and we have miles. And then next, and then next, and then OK, build a network data set. And we're interested in driving directions. So then next, and then finish, build a network data set. And we'll add the network data set to our data frame. So the network data set is actually composed of junctions and the edges or the lines that the streets are made of. So we could remove one of these streets layers because it's duplicate. So now we can actually ask the question, what's the minimum distance to go from home walking along this linear network to get to the pizza shop? 
So to do that, we need the Network Analyst Toolbar. So if I right mouse click anywhere in the gray, and then Network Analyst Toolbar. So then we're going to define our problem. So we'll have a menu of problems. So here our problem is a new route. Expose the Network Analyst window. So here's our network analyst window. What we have to do is define what our stops are. So if I right mouse click and load locations, what are our stops? So our stops are the layer called stops, or we could browse to the hard drive and then go to our geodatabase and stops. Either way would be fine and then OK, and that will load the stops. So you notice the route's going to be from home to the pizza shop. If you don't like that, if you want to go from the pizza shop to home, what you could do is just drag location two and put it on top of location one. So this would get from our pizza shop to home. So what we really want is home to the pizza shop. So location one to location two. And then let's clear our selection. OK, so we know our stops. The next step is go to Route Properties. And for our Route Properties, we can name our layer. So our layer name, we'll call it Shortest Route, miles as the field that we're going to use for impedance. And then our accumulation, we could actually accumulate the miles traveled along the shortest route and how many hours that will take. So then after we set up our network analyst problem, then we would just click on this button to solve the problem. So then this is the shortest route to walk to go from home to the pizza shop. And in our route, it identifies, it did locate the stops. We could have point barriers. So a point barrier might be you have an area on a road that's closed and we want to say, okay, you can't go down that road. It's a point barrier. In this case, we don't have a point barrier, so we could uncheck that. You could have line barriers and we could have polygon barriers. So a polygon barrier might be, for example, if you have a road that's flooded the area that's flooded could be a polygon. So here we don't have polygon barriers. We don't have line barriers. So our route, if you open up the table, to go from location one to location two is 5.6 miles. Let's say we're driving and we want to minimize the hours driving. We could do another new route and we could load our stops. And then we could we sort by stop name. And then just OK. So I right mouse click and went to the properties. So for this location one, let's change its name to home. And then for location two, if I go to properties, let's change that name to pizza. And it just gives us a little more, more meaningful name. And then we'll clear our selection. So then just like before, we go to our route properties and we'll name this quickest route. And then just like before, we go to analysis setting and we specify what is the impedance value. So in this case, instead of being miles, it'll be hours. And let's start at 8 a.m. And then accumulate the miles traveled and the hours when we solve this problem. So then we would just solve the problem. So now we have the quickest route. And we can open up our table for our quickest route. And it's 0.12 hours. Now let's compare that to our original one, which was the shortest route, where our shortest route was 
longer in terms of hours, so 0.139 hours compared to our quickest route. And we can ask for this quickest route, what are the driving directions? So here are the driving directions for our quickest route. So for our quickest route, the total time is approximately seven minutes and a distance of 5.7. And then let's get the driving directions for our shortest route. So the driving directions for our shortest route 5.6 miles, but it takes a longer time, 8, point minute, eight minutes compared to 7 